On today's episode of the Fresh Brew Run Vlog, so let's do a quick little unboxing. Nike Pegasus Plus, the Asics Super Blast 2. Oh, I can't wait to run in these. This is my last speed workout of this marathon training season. This shoe, well, no spoilers. Good afternoon, welcome to episode 87 of the Fresh Brew Run Vlog. My name is Aaron and it is a great day for a run. It's Monday, Speed Workout Monday. Uh, I'm going to run later today. I got my last Speed Workout of the marathon training session, but I wanted to kick today's video off with something very excited, something I've been looking forward to for a, a while, and that is a package that has arrived in the mail. So let's do a quick little unboxing of said package. So they are the Nike Pegasus Plus. Like I said, I've been waiting around for these for a long time, really since the originals came out. They have renamed the line the Nike Pegasus Plus. Used to be the Turbo. Nike is sort of redoing what they're naming things. So I'm really excited to try this out. I bought these on StockX. You can find them there now. Link in the description below. I'll probably run in these on Friday or Saturday. So it'll be a few days before I run in them, but I'm really excited about these. They were a fantastic shoe. We'll see if they live up to the original Pegasus Turbo namesake. Uh, yeah, I'll see you a little bit later today for my final speed workout of this marathon training season. Adios. All right, we are back at the rectangle track. This is my last speed workout of this marathon training season. Uh, I would say it's bittersweet, but honestly, it's just sweet. I'm tired of running on the track. It's boring. I have three one mile repeats with 600 meter recovery in between. So hopefully this is a quick one. Hopefully I can redeem myself from the last time that I tried this workout and failed miserably. <sighs> just ready to get this over with. It's nice and cool, a little windy, but better than being humid. So ready to get going and get done running on a track. Let's do this. Mile number one. All right, one down. That was pretty good. Weather makes a big difference. Two to go after this recovery. All right, let's go. Number two. Right on pace again. Sorry, I'm not talking too much. The track is a little busy and I don't want to be rude. More on that later. But next up, we got the last mile repeat and I am uh, done running fast on a track for 2024. Let's get it. That's it. Okay, cool down time, heading back. Pretty good run. I don't know, just couldn't really get into the zone, but I hit all my times. So that's all that really matters. Like I said, it was pretty busy today at the track, so I didn't feel super comfortable talking too much, getting too much footage. I don't like putting other people in my videos in situations like that where it's just a park and people are out doing their thing, which that's top of mind for me. There was a post on Reddit about uh, some running content creator who was uh, uh, being recorded at a public track by someone riding a bike. Um, I don't know. Don't do that maybe. Good morning, happy Wednesday, great day for a run. Out here on a tempo run, we have an eight mile, AKA 12.83K tempo run today. It's nice and brisk, like 50 something degrees. So that's nice, that feels good. Uh, not super motivated this morning, but just trying to push through. We'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know, nothing else to say. Let's just get this over with. All right, you mark, get set, go. Nice. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Ah. All right, about halfway, I'm feeling really good. In control, everything's easy, smooth. Let's go. All right, we got the hilly portion coming up. I'm just trying to keep an even pace, you know? Not go too hard uphill, not go too slow downhill, just smooth pace. It's not perfect, but it's better than giving too much effort up the hill and then dying on the way down. 
little wind on the back stretch, that's okay. I wish I could bottle how I feel right now and drink that when I get up before this workout. I feel really good. The pace isn't as hard as I imagined. It's just, it's just nice. But when you get up in the morning, it's like, oh, tempo workout. But once you get going, it's not so bad. It's really nice. That's the endorphin blend of coffee. New invention idea, endorphin coffee. 2K to go. Let's go. Nice. Head on a swivel. Drivers don't care about you. I not look my, my I never look my way. That right turn is so dangerous. People do not look at the sidewalk to their right. Again and again and again. All right, home stretch. I'm just going to try to maintain my pace. I'm not going to speed it up at the end. Just want to see what that feels like. Here we go. There it is. Woo! Eight miles down. That was a fantastic run. I can definitely feel myself getting stronger. I feel like I've come a very long way since, what, three, four weeks ago when I could barely finish seven miles at tempo pace. Now, I don't know, I could go a lot further at that pace. I mean, I'm gonna have to for the marathon. That's the point of the marathon. But anyway, that was a great run. Like I was saying earlier, I need to like remind myself of this feeling right here, the feeling of accomplishment after a good run when I'm trying to get up in the morning and I'm like, ah, eh, should I just run in the afternoon? Which just makes things worse in the long run. So <laughs> I don't know, I just gotta trust my training so far because uh, I feel good. I feel, I feel like I'm really rounding into shape. So anyway, I'm gonna do a cool down and uh, we'll wrap this thing up. Uh, I am still expecting mail today. Didn't come yesterday. Hoping it arrives today. So I may be back in a second for an unboxing. Otherwise tomorrow, uh, six mile? recovery run, I think, uh, you'll find out. Whatever ends up happening, you will know in the next couple seconds. All right, I'm back, I'm fired up. These are the shoes I am really looking forward to. I've been waiting on these for a while. So let's unbox them right here. All right, drum roll please. The Asics Super Blast 2. I bought these on Stock X, just like the Pegasus Turbos. I cannot wait to run in these. I have heard so many good things about these shoes in reviews, on social media, all over the place. These are very hard to find. One great thing about buying stuff on Stock X is you can often find great deals, but also in situations like the Asics Super Blast 2, uh, when you can't find it in stores, uh, it's typically available on StockX, so check that out. But I am fired up about these. I'm so excited. I'm actually going to just try these on now, kind of walk around my, my basement a little bit because, man. Uh, by the way, look at this colorway. Look at that. This is the Paris colorway, uh, the gray upper, and then this, like, sunrise, sunset color on the midsole. Whew, picking them up, you know, pretty light, if, especially with the amount of foam in these. So, yeah, I'm going to pop these on and uh, just see how they feel. I'm gonna go on a full uh, run and do a review on Sunday. I think I'll be able to do that in these shoes and then post it in the next couple weeks. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try these out real quick. Oh yeah, these are real nice. Of course, I'm standing on carpet, so you know that'll kind of change how they feel on cement, but oh, oh, I can't wait to run in these. Let's go, I'm fired up about these. I have not been this excited about a pair of shoes in a very long time. These are probably the coolest looking shoes that I've purchased in, in quite some time. I'm excited to put a little pizzazz on my feet. So uh, yeah, that'll be it for today. Tomorrow I have an easy run. I'm gonna go back to the New Balance More V5 uh, recovery specialty shoe for tomorrow. I should just talk to the camera. But anyway, that'll be the video for today. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy Thursday. Great day for a run out here on a six mile easy run. More of a recovery run, if anything, because my legs are quite tired. 52 degrees out and crisp. It is the perfect weather for a six mile easy recovery run in August. And I touched on this briefly, but I'll hammer it home right now. You might be watching a lot of running content on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, wherever. 
and you might think that every person making running content loves every single time they get up in the morning and run. You might think that the alarm goes off at five in the morning and they spring out of bed and jump right into their perfectly pristine running shoes that match their outfit and they go on a 10 mile run and it's the greatest thing that they've ever done. But for me at least, that is not always the case. Sometimes you just don't want to run and it's not because you're like too fatigued, you're just not motivated. That's what I was yesterday, but I was like, yeah, I don't want to put this off. I don't want to skip this. I don't want to run later. I will regret it. So I was driven by that. I got up, I ran and it turned out to be a good run. So that is always a lesson. Just start your run. Just even if you're tired and don't feel like it, just try to give it like two miles. If you're not feeling it after two miles, then you know what? Cut it off, go home, you tried. But 99.9% .9 of the time when I do start my run, uh, I end up feeling a lot better and finishing the run and I end up much happier that I did the run than if I would have just stayed in bed or just lounged around the house with a cup of coffee. So uh, that is my lesson for today. I am uh, wasting a lot of time right now. <laughs> I'm gonna take my little uh, selfie, follow me on Instagram, Fresh Brew RC, and uh, we'll head home. Yeah, no shot that truck was gonna stop. Nice. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, I'm glad I did not wear one of the new pairs of shoes I got today because my legs are dead. And no matter how good those shoes might be, uh, they wouldn't feel good today. So I'm glad I have the more V5s on because uh, yeah, my legs are tired. Anyway, tomorrow, uh, I think a 10 mile easy run. So looking forward to that. It's Friday tomorrow. Let's go. See you then. Good morning, happy Friday. It is a great day for a run out here. 10 miles, easy pace. This is my first run in the Nike Pegasus Plus. Check out those those peg pluses in action. Just kicking off my run, I'm gonna go get some gratuitous slow-mo footage of these shoes. And then probably about midway through this run, I'm gonna give my first run reaction thoughts on these in a separate video that should be live now. I'll link it in the description. Um, but right off the rip, I don't know. I've been running in a lot of max cushion shoes over the past couple years. These are not max cushion shoes. We'll see, maybe I just need to break them in a little bit more. But check out that video. I'm gonna stop talking about these shoes and giving spoilers, but we'll see. We'll see how these go. Nice. Okay, change of plan. Someone is uh, enjoying the park where I film my gratuitous slow-mo footage. So I'm gonna find a different park so I don't put people in the background of my video that woke up and did not expect to be captured in slow motion and put on YouTube. Uh, feeling pretty good. Again, this weather is great. It's supposed to get warmer. I'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts, but it's really nice now. Nice. The old hezzy hay. I just did a little, uh, little math at the crosswalk here <laughs> to remember the conversion from miles to kilometers. Uh, 8.1 and I turn around. You smell that? Well, probably not because it's YouTube, but it smells like college football in the air. Tomorrow, week zero, CFB is back. Hey, 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 stop sign. Looks like we got some kind of tournament or something at the pickleball court today. Whoa, check this out. I gotta sneak into the porta potty. I hope the pickleballers don't yell at me. All right, very cool. Maybe I should get into this. The Fresh Brew Pickleball Club. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wrap this run up. Good run, uh, interesting run in the Pegasus Plus. You'll have to check out my review on my channel, but otherwise, great Friday for a run. So yeah, this was nice. Looking forward to tomorrow. Got a 10 mile easy run. Uh, I'm really excited about the shoes that I'm gonna wear on that run. So I'll see you soon. Good morning, happy Saturday. It is a great day for a run out here. 10 miles, easy pace, and I am fired up. I got the Super Blast 2s on, and people, this shoe, well, no spoilers. No spoilers for my upcoming initial run review of this. Uh, but, eh, 
no spoilers. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but, but no spoilers. By the way, do you like my custom muscle shirt? This is what happens when you get a really, really cheap race shirt and the seams come undone after one wash. I, I ran the sleeves off this shirt. So I just said, you know what, forget it. We'll cut the seams. It's now, it's now a, a muscle tee. So just trying to get a little use out of this shirt. And that's a trend that I don't love. Really cheap quality race shirts. Just give me the option to not get something like this or make a decent quality race shirt. I know it's a cost thing, blah, 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 but the seams came apart, so whatever. So like I said, I'm filming the review of the Super Blast 2s. So I'm just on my way to the park to capture some B-roll. And then about halfway through the run, I'll give my first run thoughts on this shoe. So subscribe so you don't miss that video. Very excited about it. It is so nice out. Oh, this is a real good mood run. Whew, perfect weather, a little breeze, man. I think I'm gonna rename this park B-Roll Park. <laughs> it's a good spot for B-Roll. The uh, pickleball tournament is still in full swing. This is definitely a fake button. I've been sitting here pressing this for a minute now and we don't have a signal. Nothing's changing, nothing's happening. Oh, here we go, we got a yellow. All right, filming for the uh, review is done. Good stuff, uh, excited for this video. Just gotta finish this 10 miler strong, but great run. Had a lot of fun out here today. Uh, just a beautiful day for a run. Looking forward to the rest of the day. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow I have a six mile easy run. I think it might be eight. I can't remember, I think it's eight. Um, so yeah, I'll see you then. Good morning, happy Sunday, great day for a run. Out here, eight mile recovery run. So just trying to take it easy. Yesterday I went pretty hard. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that. I was just so fired up, I, uh, I went faster than I should have. But today I'm gonna go slow, let the legs recover because my legs feel a little tired. This is the week of new shoes. I think I have my uh, my lineup for the rest of the year. I have all the shoes for all the types of runs that I'm gonna do for the next two months. Two months until the marathon, by the way. Excited about that, but I think, I think I got my lineup. I got something for my recovery runs like this with the New Balance More V5, my long run shoe with the Super Blast 2, uh, a little bit of a faster shoe with the Pegasus Plus, even faster shoe with the New Balance Rebel V4, and then my racing shoe, the Alpha Fly 3. So I feel pretty good about that. There was one more shoe I was looking at, the New Balance Balos, but I don't know, I haven't loved the new version of the Fresh Foam X foam. I feel like it's a little too soft, and the Balos has that foam. It's $200, I don't know. The other thing is I have so many other shoes that I wanna get a ton of mileage in. I don't know how I would work all those shoes in. I actually do run in all of the shoes I make videos about as much as I can. My goal is always to get at least 300 miles in every pair of shoes that I buy. So it might take me a little bit. So I don't know, maybe if the Balos goes on sale, maybe, but by then nobody will care if I make a video about it. <laughs> and that's really all that matters in running. <laughs> Sometimes you need to take a step back and just realize how ridiculous it is to bring a camera with you on every run and make videos talking about shoes. <laughs> it's pretty absurd if you think about it. So I'm not gonna think about it too much today. Pickleball tournament day three. Okay, coming to the end of this run and the end of this week, good week. I got in some solid miles. I feel pretty good. I feel strong. I'm a little tired, but to be expected. It was fun trying out some new shoes. So overall, a great week. It's supposed to be hot next week. It's gonna be a grind, but we will push through. So with that, I will see you next week. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next week. Yeah.